Dear students, I am Mahesh Javalkar of Bharatam Nidhi Polytechnic and today I am posting my third video on DCT questions on the subject BEEE that is Basic Electrical Electronics Engineering. Okay, so we will start with the first question, question number 41. So here he has asked, in parallel combination, the voltage across each resistor is what? Whether it is same, whether it is different, whether it is low voltage or whether it is high voltage. So if you see parallel combinations, say this is one resistor, resistor 1 and then we have another resistor, resistor 2, okay. Then we have another resistor, resistor 3, okay. So if you see this resistors and if you apply a voltage to it, okay, so this voltage is applied to it, okay. So, plus minus, this is voltage. And if you measure that voltage, that voltage will be same. That voltage will be same. If you measure that voltage through a voltmeter, it will be same throughout. Okay, so across each resistor, the voltage remains same in a parallel combination. So, here the option should be A, same. Okay, then we'll go to the next question, question of 42. Resistors are connected end to end in which combination okay so if you see when you connect resistors from end to end this is one end this is resistor r1 okay so again you connect from here another resistor this is resistor r2 again from this end you connect another resistor this is resistor r3 okay so like this if you connect a resistors in uh, with end to end then it is called as series combination. Okay. So here the option will be option A, series combination. Then we'll go to the next question. Question number 43. Resistors can be connected in how many ways? So basically we have studied that resistors can be connected in series and resistors can be connected in parallel. So there are two ways to connect resistors. So our resistors can be connected in two ways. So option D is the right answer over here. That is two ways. Then we'll go to the next question, question of 44. In series combination, the current passing through each resistor is what? Different, same, zero or high. So if you take a series combination, say this is resistor R1, this is resistor R2, this is resistor R3, okay? So you can name them R1, R2, R3. If you pass a current through this, okay? So when a current passes through this, okay, so that current will be same, that that current will be same, right? So here if you see, if you make a current pass I, that same current is passing here, that same current is passing here, and that same current will pass here, okay? So it is same. In series combination, the current passing through each resistor is same. So here option will be option B, same. Okay, then we'll go to the next question. Question number 45. Calculate the total resistance between the points A and B. So between the points A and B, we see a 4 ohm resistor, a 1 ohm resistor, 2 ohm resistor and 3 ohm resistor. Out of this 1 ohm and 2 ohm resistors are in parallel. So 1 ohm, 1 ohm uh, is parallel with 2 ohm. So the equivalent of this is 1 into 2 upon 1 plus 2. So this is 2 upon 3. Okay. Now 2 upon 3 ohms will be in series. 2 upon 3 ohms will be in series with 4 ohms and also 3 ohms. Okay. So it is 2 upon 3 plus 7. Okay. So 2 upon 3 plus 7. So this is nothing but 2 plus 21 upon 3. This is nothing but 23 upon 3. This is nothing but 3 sevens are 21 remaining 2 point zero three six eighteen again 3666. It will go on 3666. So it is around 3 7.67 ohms. Okay. So here the answer will be uh, answer C 7.67 ohms. Okay, then we'll go to the next question. Question of 46. Calculate the equivalent resistance between A and B. 
so here if you see the hot diagram okay so here you can see 5 ohm resistor 15 ohm resistor 10 ohm resistor 20 ohm resistor so here 5 ohm is in series with 15 ohm okay now this combination will be parallel for a series combination of 10 ohm 10 ohm plus 20 ohm okay so here here you can see this will be in parallel combination with 10 ohm plus 20 ohm okay so if you do this then it will be 15 plus 5 is 20 ohm which is parallel with 30 ohm okay so if you want to find the equivalent resistance of this so it, it should be 20 into 30 upon 20 plus 30 okay so this is nothing but 600 upon 50 okay so 0 0 goes 5 1s are 5 5 12 the 60 so it will be 12 ohms okay so answer will be 12 ohms for this combination so here answer c will be the right answer that is 12 ohms okay so the equivalent resistance if you see this diagram 5 ohm and 15 ohm will be in series 10 ohm and 20 ohm will be in series and both this equivalent series will be in parallel to each other so the answer here will be 12 ohms then we'll go to the next question question number 47 uh, batteries are generally connected in what combination so if you want to increase the value of the batteries okay they should be connected in series so once they are connected in series the effective value of the series combination will be an increased value in terms of voltage okay so then here the answer should be series batteries are generally connected in series so a series is the answer then we'll go to the next question in a dash circuit the total resistance is greater than the largest resistance in the circuit okay so now here we can take a example of series combination okay say this is these are our resistances in series this is 1 ohm this is 2 ohm and this is 3 ohm okay so here the largest resistance is 3 ohms okay 3 ohms but the equivalent a resistance is 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 6 ohms so that is 6 ohm is the equivalent and the largest resistor is 3 ohms so the equivalent uh, value is greater than the largest value and it, it happens in a series combination so here the answer should be a series okay so in a series circuit the total resistance is greater than the largest resistance in the circuit okay then we'll go to the next question question number 49 in a dash circuit the total resistance is smaller than the smallest resistance in the circuit okay so this is your question here so here if we have to think about a parallel connection okay so if you see a parallel connection say this is one resistor and this is another resistor okay say this is uh, 2 ohm and this is 3 ohm okay so if you take the equivalent uh, resistance here it will be 2 into 3 upon 2 plus 3 so this will be equal to 6 upon 5 so this will be equal to 5 on the 5 0.05 to the 10 1.2 ohms okay so equivalent our resistance will be 1.2 ohm 1.2 ohm will be less than the smallest resistance here so here the smallest our resistance was resistance 2 so equivalent resistance is less than the smallest resistance and this happens in parallel combination so here answer should be b parallel okay then we'll go to the next question question number 50 which is the most cost efficient connection okay most cost efficient connection now this will be uh, answered as series connection because in series connection the voltage which is supplied can be shared okay and hence low voltage appliances can be used okay so that is why if you think about the cost efficiency then it is series combination okay so answer a series is the right answer for this question then we'll go to the next question question number 51 
which of the following device converts chemical energy into electrical energy so obviously we always see in day to day life a battery a battery which is made up of a chemical now that chemical energy will be converted into electrical energy so here the answer should be a battery okay then we'll go to the next question question number 52 the a commercial unit of energy is so we all have an energy meter in our house and on that energy meter we we measure our units how much is the electricity consumed okay now if you see that energy meter there will be something like this kilo watt hour okay so that kilo watt hour is the unit of energy so here option c will be the right answer how many watts used okay uh, in a, a given time that is hour so kilowatts per hour okay so kilowatts r is the unit of energy okay so here c kilowatt r then we'll go to the next question what is the smallest unit of power so options here are watt kilowatt horsepower and megawatt obviously it is watt option a is the right answer it is the smallest unit of power okay then we'll go to the next question question number 54 kilowatt hour that is kwh is a unit of watt so obviously in our earlier this thing we saw that kilowatt hour was the unit of energy energy meter is one which uses the unit as kilowatt hour okay if you start from the basic explanation as i have given here power is the energy per unit time so p is given as energy upon time okay and the unit of power is kilowatt and the unit of time is r then the unit of energy will be unit of power into unit of time that is kilowatt into r so kilowatt r is the unit of energy so here option c will be the right answer okay then we'll go to the next question which of the following is equal with newton meter okay so 1 newton meter means it is the work done or energy transferred to an object one when 1 newton force acts over for 1 meter okay now it can also be defined as heat energy dissipated by a, a current of 1 ampere passing through a 1 ohm a resistor for 1 second okay but we will see the first explanation the first explanation says that it is the work done or energy transferred to an object when 1 newton force 1 newton force acts over 1 meter okay and that 1 newton meter is also a definition of 1 joule so 1 newton meter is 1 joule so joule will be the other name for newton meter so here which is which of the following is equal with newton meter the equality is between the two units joule and newton meter so here option a will be the answer joule is in equal with newton meter okay then we'll go to the next question question number 56 a 220 ohm resistor or dissipates 3 watt power okay the voltage is how much so here we are having a a, re, a resistance of 220 ohms okay and we are having power of 3 watts okay and what he has asked is voltage voltage is what so power in terms of voltage and resistance is given as v square upon r okay so p is equal to v square upon r then from this we can get that v square is equal to p into r okay so p into r is how much now p is 3 watt into r is 220 okay so this is v square okay so v square is equal to 3 into 2 220 is 660 okay and 660 if you take v v will be a square root of 660 okay then that answer is nothing but 25.7 volt okay 25.7 volt so here the answer is c 25.7 volt okay then we'll go to the next question question number 57 for a 12 volt and 40 milliampere how much is the power okay so here we know that power in terms of current and voltage is v into i 
ओके सो इट इज 12 वोल्ट मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 40 मिली एम्पियर सो दिस इज मिली एम्पियर 10 रेज टू माइनस 3 ओके सो 12 इनटू 40 12 इनटू 40 इज 480 ओके इनटू 10 टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस 3 सो दिस इज नथिंग बट 480 मिली वाट्स ओके द सेम कैन बी रिटर्न एज 0.480 watts this can be also written as 0.480 watts this can be also written as 480000 micro watts micro watts okay so all of these first a b c all of these answers are correct so here the option d will be the right answer all of the above okay then we'll go to the next question question number 58 which of the following statements are true so if you read the statements uh, statement 1 that is a says that power is proportional to voltage only power is proportional to current only power is neither proportional to voltage nor to the current power is proportional to both voltage and current so p is equal to vi says that power is proportional to both voltage and current so option d will be the right answer here power is proportional to both voltage and current okay then we'll go to the next question question of 59 which of the following is not an expression for power so we know that power can be given as p is equal to vi we know power can be given as v square upon r we know that power can be given as i square r but the last one p is equal to i r is a wrong one okay so power can be given in this three ways that is v into i or v square upon r or i square into r okay so here the option d that is p is equal to i upon r is not the expression for power okay so here option d is the answer then we'll go to the next question a 250 volt bulb passes a current of 0.3 ampere calculate the power in the lamp okay so here voltage is given as 250 volt 250 volt and current is given as 0.3 ampere now power is equal to v into i so this is equal to 250 into 0.3 so this is nothing but 75 watts power is equal to 75 watts so here option a will be the answer 75 watts is the answer in this question okay so students these were another 20 questions based on series parallel combination of a resistance and definition of energy and power okay and uh, with this i end my this video in my next video i am again going to take another 20 questions on the next topics of the same subject thank you very much